I do want to watch the Mario trailer. We're going to see if we can find any Mario 3 stuff. Okay, where where is Mario? First and foremost, where is he? What are those dumbbells right there? Or is that bombs? There's a sword there and a barrel. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to Im imply. Ah, I see. Okay. So they got the question blocks. I don't see any Mario 3 things yet. Yeah, the kettleball. Yeah, I guess that's what it was because they're in like the gym here or whatever. We're got there's some barrels right there for Donkey Kong. This Okay. Uh, is this Cranky or King DDD? That is not King DDD. Gandalf Kong? New character? Maybe. But I like how they kept like Donkey Kong for Super Nintendo, like the Aztec theme. That was really cool. Peach looks weird though, right? Doesn't Peach look a little weird to you guys? You got the statues. So of course, Luigi gets captured. What a surprise. Okay, look at all these creatures. We got the Hammer Bros, Piranha Plants. We got the bats. We got Shy Guys. We got the bombs. Okay, so here is Mushroom Kingdom, full of weird mushrooms that look real, but not real. Are they edible? Are they furniture, right? No Mario 3-esque things, like exactly like Mario 3 yet. I thought Nintendo had said Mario's not a plumber anymore. What happened to that? Look, he's got a plunger. Is this New Donk City right here with Mario and Luigi? Look at his little, the little V thing. And what is this pocket for? All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff. Still no Mario 3 things. Bowser is coming. So here's the world. That's it? Are they going for like the Super Mario RPG overworld kind of look? The Mushroom Kingdom, Desert Land, and then that's like it. If one of these was shaped like a Koopa, then you'd know it'd be World 4 from Mario 3, but one of them is not shaped like a Koopa. Is this supposed to be the world as well? <laughs> Yo, the world is flat. Together. Yo, did anyone else think of BLJs in this room? You got the BLJs up the 70 star door right here. You think Mario's gonna BLJ in the movie? All right, here we go. So these blocks are from 3D World, right? These are donut blocks, but these donut blocks are kind of like Mario 64 donut blocks. We got pipes that lead nowhere. This is just a mishmash of garbage. Am I allowed to say that piranha plants are Mario 3-esque? Guys, see, look, you see this? Super Mario World training ground. Oh, that makes sense. So I guess Mario isn't really Super Mario yet. It looks like there's springs right here. It's hard to tell. Fire bars. But they're not fire. No problem. Like it's not even fire. I don't understand. We got the flying cheap cheeps. I wonder if this is supposed to be a throwback to Super Mario Brothers 1. It's like uh, World 1 level 3 or something. You cross the bridge, you have flying cheap cheap. I think this is the exact throwback to, to Mario 1, right? Yo, the bullet bill right here. I still have not seen one Mario 3 specific thing. Come on, one Mario 3 thing, man. Does Nintendo and everyone who work for Nintendo forget that Mario 3 is like the most iconic? You saw a Mario 3 thing? Is that it? The Tanuki? Is that our Mario 3? Listen, I could be greedy and say, you know what? Tanuki suit, not quite the Mario 3 thing that I was looking for. Kind of looks like an idiot right now, but I mean, I'll take what I can get. Whoa, she like absorbs it. That's pretty cool. I guess they could have gone two paths. Either they eat the flowers, which would be hilarious as fuck. Whole bunch of people eating plants in the Mushroom Kingdom, they get all fucked up and powerful. Or some weird supernatural touch feely get dizzy. So does like Princess Peach teach Mario how the Mushroom Kingdom actually works? Bowser calls Mario a human. So is Mario not a part of the Mushroom Kingdom? It looks like that might be the plot. And then she brings him here and trains him and shows him how to do stuff. <laughs> Yoshi's. Yo, that's sick though. Look at that. These colors are most specific to the N64 Yoshi game, right? Yo, the Ice Kingdom, Ice World, Canada. Yeah, look, see, he's getting like teleported. Why is Bowser even looking for Mario? He's some average Joe Smo. Do you think it's gonna be like Hammock shows Bowser some prophecy that if Bowser doesn't destroy Mario, Bowser will like never succeed or something? Do you think it's one of those? Yo, if he uses a warp whistle, that will be fucking epic, please. <laughs> Yo, the Mario Kart. Chris Pratt did a decent wahoo. You can't get mad at that. We'll listen to it one more time. 
Mm, it wasn't the best. I'm gonna say, why didn't Charles just fucking voice Mario? Why is Nintendo the way that they are? Don't even get me started on Nintendo. I cannot believe Nintendo didn't pick Charles. Charles voiced Mario in Mario 64, right? And that's everyone's favorite Mario. You think going in the middle doesn't work for Mario or his voicing? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's um, it's an interesting thing. I'm with you, Mitch, on the warp whistle. Oh my God, dude. If Mario, or maybe Peach uses a warp whistle to get Mario to warp. Oh my God, that would be insane. We didn't see as many Mario 3 things that I would have liked. Uh, we did see one though. At least there was one. Oh God. 